Hey guys, welcome to my Saturday night. It's been an awesome, awesome week. Um, started off on Sunday night. Uh, my birthday was Sunday. Do I look like I'm almost 60 years old? Yeah, I know. I saw you. No, I don't. Anyway, I got to see Cedric Burnside and Brian J play a show at the Echo in Los Angeles. Great show. Been waiting to see one of the Burnsides live uh, forever. Um, on Tuesday, the LA Times caught up with me and uh, their reporter, Anna Phillips, uh, who's now in the Washington Bureau doing environmental work out there, had been following um, charter schools in California and she picked me out, I think there's some of my crazy videos on the internet and I've been kind of active about that. So I was the one that was picked to do, um, like what have I been doing as an individual to make things better in my school district and more accountable because I sit on a school board, believe that or not. Anyway, that was great. Um, it's quite the honor to have that happen and be in the times for something good and not a crime. It's actually the second time I've been there. I did a stint back in 2003 over my career as an arborist and uh, a palm tree issue put me on the front page. Anyway, moving right along, um, had some school board training this morning. Now tonight, I am headed to the Hi-Hat in Los Angeles to see Tim Lohman of low volts. You know who that is, right? You gotta love that, right? Anyway, I first run across Tim Lohman about two years ago. Uh, Tammy brought me her iPad and there was one of his songs playing on YouTube that was somehow re uh, referenced to us because the music we listened to and it was Granny's Gold Teeth, and if you don't know that song, you should. Great slide guitar, interesting topic uh, matter. So I had to um, check this guy out, and the more I looked at him, the more I found out he's somebody I want a guitar in his hands. Um, he's very talented with one, um, but his uh, family history included having a great grandfather that was framed for murder and almost sent to the electric chair. And he was a preacher, a traveling uh, evangelist, and a musician, traveled with his wife. Anyway, he was uh, framed for murder and almost went to the electric chair. So he wrote a book called Up From The Depths, and it's about his ordeal uh, in prison and being framed for murder and everything. So I made Tim Lohman a guitar um, and if you look up right about now, you're going to see an eye popping up there and you will see uh, a link to the episode Electric Chair Guitar. Um, that shows you how, to, how I theme that guitar. It's pretty interesting if you like to theme your guitars and make them different. But it tells you the story of Tim's grandfather. So um, I got that one to him. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, listening to him play that four-string cigar box guitar. And then when I started making um, coffee can guitars lately, I built Tim one of those three-string. And uh, when I met up with him, he started strumming it. I, I saw him at a show before LA, uh, before one of his shows in LA a couple months back and he started strumming it and it sounded like he was playing uh, the basic structure of Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode later covered by Johnny Cash. Anyway, he's been working on that. There's a couple YouTube videos. I'll send you a link to one. Look at the eye about right now. Anyway, um, Tim's coming into the hi-hat in Los Angeles tonight, so I'm headed there and I'm gonna get some footage of Tim. This will be the first time I've seen him play um, the coffee can guitar at a live show and I'm gonna hear your own personal Jesus, so um, stay with me here. I'm gonna get some footage. Tim Lohman from Low Volts. 
ready to play the hi hat. We are set up. We got the old coffee can guitar, poison ready up there. It's gonna be a good night. Too bad you're not here. traveling gospel singer in the early 20s and he was framed for murder and sentenced to the electric chair and he wrote a book about the story and then a man by the name of Ken Falsgraf heard the story and he builds custom guitars and junk, junk instruments such as this contraption here which is made out of a coffee can and uh, on the side we put uh, it's called the Switch of Death. It's the very first schematics for the first electric chair back in the day. And uh, it's kind of a nasty little creature. I, I kind of came up with the uh, cover tune that kind of works on it. I'll try it out on you here tonight. Reach out and touch faith.
at the end of the video my subscribe list is my subscribe button is in the middle and my playlists are there I'm gonna build out a playlist that's got um, the guitars I've built for Tim it'll be one of theirs but anyway back to this if you're the first one in the continental United States that can tell me the year of the Buffalo head nickel that's embedded in the neck of the electric chair guitar. Make sure you know it's the electric chair guitar, the cigar box, because I've built them a couple. I'm going to send this signed CD your way. 
uh, you're gonna love it. So, what an awesome week. It's 10.15, I'm gonna be in bed by 11, that's good. <laughs> that's good, us old men, we like concerts that way. Tim, thanks a lot. Uh, I got to hear personal Jesus and a, um, a uh, an instrumental that you put together and that was great. So, there's nothing like building these these cigar boxes and coffee cans and license plate guitars and hearing somebody that's awesome playing. So, hey, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.